Our vision crisis starts small. Does it get harder to read menus? More glare at night? Maybe reaching for reading glasses more often. But what's really happening to your eyes after 40? And what exact changes are waiting beyond 50? In this in-depth documentary, we'll uncover the truth about vision loss as we age. What's normal and what's not, and what you can do right now to protect your sight. From common eye diseases to breakthrough treatments, from lifestyle habits to emotional resilience, this is your complete guide to staying sharp, focused, and empowered for decades to come. You're watching the truth about vision loss after 40 years. Like and subscribe for more expert-based health guides. And if this is your first time here, tell us where you're watching from. Let's start by understanding how your eyes work. The eye is a remarkably complex organ, a camera built with living tissue. Light enters through the cornea, passes through the lens, and is focused onto the retina at the back. From there, signals travel through the optic nerve to your brain. Around age 40, many people start to notice changes in their vision. You may find yourself holding reading materials farther away. This is not your imagination. It's a condition called presbyopia, the natural stiffening of the lens inside your eye. The flexible lens becomes less elastic with age. As a result, your eyes can't adjust focus as easily when switching from far to near vision. Presbyopia affects nearly everyone by the time they reach their mid-40s. It's not a disease, it's a normal part of aging but other changes may signal something more serious. Blurry vision, eye strain, headaches, or trouble seeing in dim light may indicate something more than just aging. It's important to separate common age-related changes from potential vision-threatening conditions. Here's a quick breakdown. Here are certain changes and when you should be worried. Reading difficulty. This is normal with change in age. Should you be worried? In age unless this is worsening rapidly. Night vision decline. This is normal with change in age. Should you be worried? Maybe. It should be monitored closely. Peripheral vision loss. Let me explain what this is. Peripheral vision loss, also known as tunnel vision, is the reduction or loss of the ability to see things to the sides of your field of vision, while central vision remains intact. It's like looking through a tunnel only seeing what's directly in front of you. Imagine you're looking straight ahead. With peripheral vision loss, you can only see what's directly in front of you, but you're unable to see anything to your left or right without turning your head. This is not normal with change in age. Should you be worried? Yes, this may signal glaucoma. Eyes floaters is sometimes normal with age. Eyes floaters are specks, strings, or other shapes that appear to drift or move across your vision. They are often described as small, dark spots, or cobwebs. Floaters are shadows cast by clumps of debris or fibers in the vitreous, the clear gel that fills the inside of your eye. Should you be worried? If it happens all of a sudden or becomes numerous, then yes. The following symptoms warrant an immediate visit to an eye doctor. Sudden vision loss. Flashes of light, large increase in floaters, eyes pain or pressure, frequent changes in prescription. After age 40, experts recommend a comprehensive eye exam at least every two years or annually if you have risk factors like diabetes, high blood pressure, or a family history of eye disease. A comprehensive eye exam doesn't just test your vision, it examines the retina, Optic nerve, eye pressure, and overall eye health. Vision loss is gradual. The earlier you catch it, the more options you have to slow or even reverse damage. And your eyes aren't just about sight. They're windows to your brain, your circulation, and your overall health. Taking care of your eyes now is a step toward preserving your independence, safety, and quality of life in the decades to come. Now that we've explored the causes of vision loss, let's walk into the place where it all begins, your eye doctor's office. For many people, the idea of an eye exam can feel a little mysterious. Maybe you haven't had one in years, 
Or maybe you've only had a quick vision screening at work or the DMV. But a comprehensive eye exam, that's a whole different level. And it could literally save your sight. Let's break down what happens step by step. One, medical history and symptoms. First, your eye doctor will ask about your overall health. Any conditions like diabetes, high blood pressure, or autoimmune disorders. They'll also ask about your family history of eye diseases and whether you're experiencing any symptoms like blurry vision, floaters, dryness, or headaches. This information helps tailor the exam to your needs. Two, visual acuity test. Next comes the familiar eye chart, the one with the big E at the top. This measures how well you can see at a distance. You'll read progressively smaller lines, one eye at a time. This simple test helps determine if you need glasses or if your current prescription has changed. Three, the refraction test. Remember the which is better question, one or two. That's the refraction test. It helps fine tune your prescription by showing different lens options and seeing which one gives you the clearest vision. Four, slit lamp exam. Next, you'll do a slit lamp exam. This powerful microscope lets the doctor examine the structures at the front of your eye, your cornea, iris, lens, and more, looking for cataracts, dryness, or signs of inflammation. Five, eye pressure test tonometry. Glaucoma is a major cause of vision loss after 40, and it's often linked to high eye pressure. That's why doctors test for intraocular pressure. You might feel a quick puff of air, where your doctor might use a gentle tool after numbing drops. It's quick and it's crucial. Six, retinal exam and dilation. To get a good look at the back of your eye, your retina, macula, and optic nerve, your doctor will usually dilate your pupils with special drops. This can make your vision blurry and sensitive to light for a few hours, but it allows for a detailed look at areas where diseases like AMD, diabetic retinopathy, or retinal tears can start. Sometimes they'll also use advanced imaging like OCT, optical coherence tomography, or retinal photography to capture detailed scans. Seven, the visual field test. This is a test of your peripheral vision. You'll press a button whenever you see small lights flashing in your side vision. Loss of peripheral vision is a red flag for glaucoma, and other conditions, so this test is especially important. Why all this matters? All of these tests together give your doctor a full picture of your eye health. Not just how well you see today, but how likely you are to develop problems in the future. And here's the kicker. Many vision-threatening diseases show no symptoms in the early stages. By the time you notice something's wrong, damage may already be done. But with routine exams, ideally, every one to two years after age 40, you can catch issues early when they're still manageable or even reversible. Special tests for people over 50. As you age, your eye doctor may recommend additional tests, especially if you're at higher risk. These can include contrast sensitivity testing, especially if you struggle with glare or night driving blue light sensitivity, or digital eye strain assessment for screen users, Amsler grid testing at home for AMD monitoring. These are tools to keep your vision sharp, not just passable. Getting an eye exam isn't just about new glasses. It's an investment in your quality of life, your ability to drive, to read, to recognize your grandchild's smile, to live independently. Your eyes are worth every effort. Let's keep going together. We've talked about what can go wrong with your eyes and how to detect those changes early. Now, let's flip the script. What if you could slow or even prevent many of the most common causes of vision loss just by changing your daily habits? It's not only possible, it's surprisingly simple. Let's start with something you're probably doing right now. One, cut screen time strain. Digital eye strain is real, and it's getting worse. Too much time in front of screens leads to tired, dry, irritated eyes. Here's a trick, the 20-20-20 rule. 
Every 20 minutes, look at something 20 feet away for 20 seconds. It gives your eyes a much needed break. And don't forget to blink consciously. We blink less when we stare at screens and that dries out the eye surface. Adjust your lighting, reduce glare, and position your screen just below eye level to ease eye muscle tension. Two, eat for your eyes. What you eat plays a huge role in how your eyes age. Nutrients like lutein, zeaxanthin, omega-3s, zinc, and vitamin C protect the retina and slow degeneration. Here are some vision-friendly foods to include. Leafy greens, like kale and spinach. Bright orange veggies, like carrots and sweet potatoes. Fatty fish, like salmon and sardines. Eggs, citrus fruits, almonds, and sunflower seeds. Think of it as a colorful, eye-loving plate. You can't always get it from food. Supplements can help, especially formulas labeled for eye health. Look for ARDS 2 base supplements shown to reduce progression of macular degeneration. 3. Protect against the sun. UV rays don't just burn your skin. They can damage your retina and speed up cataract formation. A good pair of UV blocking sunglasses is one of the easiest ways to protect your eyes every day. Make it a habit, even on cloudy days. 4. If you smoke, stop. Smoking is a major risk factor for macular degeneration, cataracts, and optic nerve damage. Quitting reduces that risk. The sooner, the better. 5. Keep your eyes moist. Dry eye syndrome is common with age. And screen time. Stay hydrated, run a humidifier, and use lubricating eye drops if needed. Avoid drops with get the red out ingredients. They can make dryness worse over time. 6. Sleep and light hygiene. Quality sleep helps your eyes recover. Reduce blue light exposure an hour before bed. Swap screens for a book or listen to calming music. Try amber or red tinted light bulbs at night to protect melatonin in your retinal cells. 7. Stay consistent with eye exams. We said it before and we'll say it again. Seeing your eye doctor yearly is one of the most powerful habits you can adopt for lifelong vision. It's your first line of defense. These are small, simple changes, but together they create a powerful shield against the most common causes of vision loss. You don't have to overhaul your life. Just choose a few steps to start with. Build from there. Your future eyes will thank you. Now it's time to talk about what the road ahead looks like for your eyes as you move into your 60s, 70s, and beyond. Because vision doesn't just change. It evolves. With each decade, the risks shift. But so do the solutions. Let's dive into what to expect, what to watch for, and how to prepare for a lifetime of clear, confident sight. 1. Common age-related eye conditions after 60. Here are the big four of senior eye health. Cataracts, clouding of the lens, making everything appear blurry or yellowed. It's incredibly common. Over half of adults over 75 have them. Glaucoma, increased eye pressure that damages the optic nerve. It often has no symptoms until vision loss begins. Age-related macular degeneration, AMD, damage to the macula, affecting central vision. Reading, recognizing faces, and driving become harder. Diabetic retinopathy, damage to blood vessels in the retina due to diabetes. Early stages often go unnoticed. These aren't rare, but they're also not inevitable. Let's talk solutions. Two, advances in technology that can help. The tools we have today are better than ever. Digital retinal scans, optical coherence tomography, OCT, and AI tools can detect issues before you notice symptoms. And if you need help seeing better, advanced lens implants during cataract surgery restore vision to near perfect. Low vision aids like electronic magnifiers and voice reading apps give independence back. Smartphone apps help magnify menus, adjust contrast, and even read aloud. The future is here, and it's designed to help you stay sharp, independent, and safe. 3. 
building a personal eye care plan. Just like a fitness plan, you need a vision wellness strategy. Here's what to include. Yearly eye exams, even if you don't wear glasses. Tracking your family history. Is there AMD, glaucoma, or diabetes in your lineage? Staying consistent with medication if you're managing glaucoma or diabetic retinopathy. Setting reminders for eye drops, vitamins, or doctor visits. Four, how to talk to your eye doctor. Many people feel rushed or confused during appointments. Prepare with a simple checklist. Any changes in vision? Are you seeing glare, halos, floaters, or flashes? Trouble with night driving? Any double vision or difficulty with contrast? Questions about supplements, surgery, or glasses? Write them down ahead of time. Don't leave without clear answers. Five. Emotional and social impacts of vision loss. Vision loss doesn't just affect the eyes. It can affect your confidence, your mood, and your social life. Many adults feel isolated or anxious when their vision changes. Six, hope through research and community. There are exciting breakthroughs on the horizon. Gene therapies for inherited vision diseases. Stem cell research for AMD retinal implants, and bionic eyes for severe vision loss. Clinical trials and advocacy groups are making waves, and you can be part of the movement by staying informed and involved. Your vision is part of your story, how you read the world, how you see your loved ones, how you experience beauty and meaning. And just like the rest of your health, it's worth fighting for. So here's the truth. You have more power than you think. Power in prevention. Power in knowledge. Power in action. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the aging eye. This is Soul and Strength Wellness, where every chapter of life deserves to be seen clearly. Take great care of your eyes. They've been taking care of you all along. Like and subscribe, and we would see you in the next video.